Hello, my name's Kevin. This is Love Night Prepper. So, a few days ago I did a video uh, on my CMMG Banshee that I bought. If I'm not mistaken, it was 2019 and had nothing but issues out of it. Reached out to the company. They sent parts instead of me sending the gun back to them or taking it to a gunsmith to fix. They just sent the springs for me to fix it, and I did, which didn't work. Um, reached back out to them, I got nothing. So I got an update for you now. I was quite surprised they actually, I soon and watched the entire video, and they replied back to me. And whereas I still think they should have offered to fix the gun themselves, me send the gun back at the very least, sent me a bolt carrier and carrier group, a, a bolt carrier group and the bolt, and me send the old one back so they can do whatever they wanted to with it. Um, they also, uh, let me just read you what they said and then you guys make up your own minds. <clears throat> Thank you for taking the time fully, Thank you for taking the time to fully explain your concerns. We understand how frustrating things like this can be. Yeah, that kind of bothers me. We understand how frustrating. No, actually, you really don't. <clears throat> we are happy to see that the modifications that I had to make to their weapon to improve my bench to the point of it being much more reliable platform for you. Please note, running suppressed and different ammo types can affect the cycling of the radial delayed blowback system. Okay, let me just stop right there. Winchester white box. Union metallic, car, uh, uh, Union metallic cartridge. That's UMC, what used to be Remington. Um, Federal, Fiocchi, Agula, uh, Cellar and Billet. All good ammunition, not junk at all. So I'm not sure about that statement. <clears throat> Okay, for the for this reason the for this reason we offer an action tuning kit for the BCG. You can think of the action tuning kit like you would an adjustable gas block, but for our system versus direct impingement. Unfortunately, there is no way to make firearms run reliably with every ammo type out there, but we do try to accommodate for variables by using the action tuning kit. My SIGs all fire that ammunition, no issues. My Glocks all fire that ammunition. My Smith & Wessons all fire that ammunition. Rugers, I've had Rugers that fire that ammunition. I mean, my Wyndham Weaponry, my Daniel Defense, my Mossberg, all fire that ammunition. No problems. <clears throat> okay, also, why should I have to buy a tuning kit to repair their gun. Why am I having to repair your gun? Again, I mean, I don't understand it. I mean, I'm happy that you reached out to my small channel, but why are you telling me I need to repair your gun? It should have worked. I mean, I paid like $1,200 for this thing. It should have worked out of the box. I mean, I can see it not wanting to work with uh, reloads, which I buy reloads because uh, it's cheaper um, and I've had some issues with the reloads in some of my guns but this wasn't even with reloads this is with good quality ammunition now I will say this it has run flawlessly the few hundred rounds that I put through it since I did the repairs and it stayed to my safe because in 2020 I got hurt and just was not able to really get out and shoot 20 and 21 were not good to me whatsoever all of y'all who have been on my channel for any length of time know that I spent quite a bit of time in the hospital in several months just learning how to walk again. So, understand that's another reason why it's sad in my safe. It was not one of the first things I wanted to shoot. When I got back out to start shooting again, as weak as my arm was, I didn't want to shoot anything that had that much shock to it. Handguns were plenty good enough, and I've just here recently started getting back out with shotguns and rifles because I've got the strength built back up in this arm. So, <clears throat> back down to this. <clears throat> oh yeah, they were talking about suppress. Okay, if it doesn't run suppressed, it doesn't want to run the, the uh, uh, subsonic, that's fine. I understand. Not every gun runs well suppressed. 
I can deal with that. So, if you have any additional concerns, please don't hesitate to reach back out to us. We have had many changes in our customer service and a few updates to the 9mm system since you originally reached out. If you are open to second chances, we would like the opportunity to show that we can and should, they, they should do better. They can and should do better. Okay. That's right. You should have sent me a... A prepaid package to sit my fire to ship my firearm back prepaid label or you could have had me take it to a gunsmith at y'all's expense and let them fix it that's my problem and then when I reached back out the second time nothing you didn't care anything about it until I put out a, a video excoriating you now you may have changed a lot of your things your products may be absolutely bad to the bone Bees knees better than Daniel Defense. But I hadn't had any trouble out of Daniel Defense. I hadn't had any trouble out of my Wyndham weaponry, which I'm very sad to see gone. Um, with the exception of the reloads, I haven't had any trouble out of any of my SIGs or my Glocks. My Smiths. Shut up, JJ. I know if you're watching this, you're going to say something about me talking good about Smith & Wesson. So... If you were that concerned, you would just send me out the tuning kit. But since I think that the BCM parts actually fixed your gun and it continues to run the way that it is now running because I did the research on it and I fixed it, I'm going to keep it. So I thank you for reaching out to me. And I do believe in second chances. But you have to have responsibility. You have to take responsibility. Excuses only satisfy the person that makes them. I have no excuses. I screw up. Hey, man, I screwed up. That's why management where I work can't stand me because when they call me into their office because I've done something wrong, which I do all the time, I'm the first one to admit it. And I'm harder on myself than they ever could be. So personal responsibility. I did a video about personal responsibility the other day. I take responsibility for my actions and my mistakes. I fix them if I at all can. This was something that could have been easily fixed. They chose to go a different direction. So until I'm satisfied, I'm not going to say anything nice other than it's running the way I wanted it to now, all these years later. which. That's not necessarily my fault per se. I can't help breaking my shoulder and my arm and my hip and my leg and my knee and my, well, you guys know I got hit by a three quarter ton pickup truck. So anyhow, I'm very happy that they reached out. They've at least done that much. So let's see where this goes. I'll give you an update next time I go to the range. Good day.